Hello, and welcome to a video version of Ask Eli to Investigate, a public service brought to you by eastlansinginfo.org. I'm Alice Dreger. This week's question is actually pretty easy to answer. The question is, does redevelopment of the blighted area at Grand River Avenue and Abbott Road depend on the parking lot sale ballot question passing? The answer is no. They are separate projects. These buildings along Grand River Avenue, just west of Abbott, are owned by a company called PDIG. Their redevelopment is not affected by the parking lot sale ballot question. Just to be clear, the blighted area at the corner of Grand River Avenue and Abbott Road is an entirely separate development project from the one which requires the sale of the parking lots. The boarded up big bank building at the corner and the boarded up old commercial building just west of there near People's Church are privately owned by PDIG and that area is being privately redeveloped. Planning Commission has already approved PDIG's plan for the corner. That project does not depend at all on the parking lot sale. It's an entirely separate project, so it's unaffected by the ballot question. Let's look at an aerial view of the area. Here you see the corner of Grand River and Abbott. Here you see People's Church, just to orient you. The properties shown outlined in blue here and here are owned by PDIG and those properties don't need the parking lot sale in order to be redeveloped. But the properties shown in red are the area that DTN wants to redevelop. So you can see visually why this project needs the parking lots, but PDIG's doesn't. So again, just to be clear, the blighted area at that corner of Grand River Avenue and Abbott is an entirely separate development project from the one which requires the sale of the parking lots. PDIG's project at that corner is moving forward already. It's already been approved by Planning Commission. So voting yes or voting no on the parking lot ballot question will have no impact on the redevelopment of this corner. The buildings that will be knocked down and replaced under DTN's project plan are all actually currently in use because they're all in good enough condition to be used. They are along Evergreen Avenue. So that answers our reader's question, and now I'm going to turn it over to Eli's development reporter, Chris Root, to give us a tour of the whole area and to explain who is planning to build what where. I apologize in advance that it was a pretty windy day. We're in the park district area of East Lansing, and we're going to talk about the two development proposals for this area, one of which is affected by the ballot question about selling parking lots. So um, we're at Abbott and Albert Street right now, and we're standing at parking lot number four, which is one of the three parking lots that the ballot question would allow the city council to decide to sell. There are two developers. One is called DTN Management, and DTN Management is proposing development that includes the area of two parking lots. The other developer is called Park District Investment Group, or PDIG, which is the sole owner of City Center 2. Their development does not include the land that is parking lots. So we're going to start with the DTN proposals that involve the parking lots, and then we will also explain the PDIG. So parking lot four is right next to Dublin Square. This is um, the place where DTN management plans to build an eight-story office building. This is parking lot 15, which is the second of the two parking lots that are on the ballot question. It actually extends to the alley where you can see the metal gate and the truck is passing in the alley. It also extends across on the other side going down the hill to Evergreen Avenue. This is all considered part of parking lot 15. It's very near uh, the student rental over here uh, to the north and to the south you see the AT&T building. And then across the street you see the City Hall and the City Hall parking area. On this parking lot, the DTN management company plans to build a six-story residential structure for people 55 and older. It will be 
five stories of residences, 25 apartments, and the ground floor will be metered parking in the same places basically where there's metered parking now, and an entryway into the parking ramp, which we'll uh, see the plan for in just a minute. This is Alice again. Chris asked me to jump in here and show you a picture of what DTN is planning for this area. Here you can see where Chris is standing in the video we just saw, and we're looking here from Abbott Road, essentially from what would be above City Hall. You see here Dublin Square, and you see here the AT&T building. Here is where there's a parking lot currently existing where DTN plans to build senior housing. And here is the seven-story parking garage she's going to talk about soon that the city would build and own, surrounded by properties that DTN would build going up to 10 stories of residential housing. We're now on Evergreen Avenue. Many people recognize this as behind people's church. And then Evergreen Avenue goes north toward the Oakwood neighborhood. We're standing in front of student rental buildings that are now owned by the Downtown Development Authority. This is the area where DTN management plans the third building of the three in this park district plan. This building, uh, called Building D, will have a seven-story parking ramp. Two sides of that seven stories will be wrapped around by apartment units on the south and west sides. On top of the seven-story ramp, they are now proposing three additional stories of residential units. They will try to sell them as condos, but um, those that are not sold as condos will be rentals. Footprint of Building D is 1.6 acres. That's because it goes quite a long distance along Evergreen, including these four rental units that are owned by the DDA and one building that is owned by uh, the Hagen family and the back end of parking lot 15. It's also a large area because it goes all the way back to the alley uh, between Evergreen and Abbott. We're now at the entrance to Michigan State University at Abbott Road, at Abbott and Grand River. We're here to look at the proposals by the second developer for the Park District, which is the Park District Investment Group, which owns City Center 2. There are two buildings that are part of PDIG's plan. The first one is where the big bank building is now, the building behind us that has been vacant for eight or nine years. The plan here is a 10-story building with the first floor commercial, then two floors of a hotel, and then the remaining floors as residential. It's important to understand the size of this building. It is not only on the footprint of the big bank building. It also will go across Evergreen, which is the street there where you can see a stop sign, and then the entire commercial building next to it. It goes as far as the Memorial Garden of People's Church. So th this will be a very, very large 10-story building that encompasses that entire area. On October 22nd, the Planning Commission for the City approved the Site Plan and Special Use Permit for Building A on this location of the bank building and the commercial building. That means that they have approved this private development on private land that has nothing to do with the parking lots. a building that everybody wants to come down. It has been boarded up for many, many years at this prime location in the city. That will happen if the plan goes through that EDIG has made and the Planning Commission has approved. Since it involves only privately owned land, no parking lots, it has nothing to do with what happens on the ballot question on November 4th. We're standing in front of the Evergreen Arms boarded up privately owned apartments owned by PDIG. The plan here is to tear these down and put up a four-story 
apartment uh, complex. Here again, this is privately owned property already, so it is not connected at all with the parking lot sales. Now, we'll give you a little uh, understanding of where we are. These buildings are on Evergreen Avenue. We see People's Church, the showroom Shine Car Wash, the back of Big Bees Coffee, and then here we have Valley Court Park, where the farmer's market is held next to that building in the back. And then we see the tennis courts over here. All of this is our park. Thanks to Chris for that helpful tour. Do you have a question you want Eli to investigate? Contact us. Just go to our website at www.eastlansinginfo.org and click on the contact link. Remember, Eli provides factual, editorial-free, nonpartisan news of, by, and for the people of East Lansing, Michigan. Eli is a 501c3 nonprofit service. Thank you.